Children remain less severely affected by COVID-19 than most adults if should they get infected. So it seems rather unfair to give them priority over people who are in their 20s and 30s, possibly with the exception of uh, students doing the national level exams this year. In fact, if anything, I would say domestic workers looking after the frail elderly should be given uh, priority because they go out and do the marketing, they come back, and they possibly could bring the bug back to people who are at the greatest risk. Okay, there are too many ministers that can answer that question. So I'll go first. I, I think, Selma, your points are well taken. Um, on the other hand, students also live amongst households, and often three-generation families do. They can also come into contact with the elderly, and they also go to schools. They do mix around with other students. And for the older students in IHLs, they also have a campus life. So I think... Um, given the new strain that we are facing and the, the priorities that we are, and, and the fact that we have gone out to vaccinate the most vulnerable groups plus the front line, which is most exposed to the virus, I think for the rest, in terms of public health, and I think DMS can elaborate on that, in terms of public health, I think the differentiation are no longer so big. And so for students, given school life, given their uh, proximity to household members, including the elderly, we felt that it is appropriate to start uh, our next phase of exercise prioritizing students. And in any case, I think we are looking at beginning of June to middle of, around middle of June, when we extend to the next group of young adults. Thank you, Minister.